Hello everybody, welcome back to another Nerdiversal video. It's been a little while since I've talked to you guys, hasn't it? I know. Um, the very last video I posted was a video I did with my boyfriend, which was a pop and cooking. And I know I usually upload weekly or like close to weekly, but I decided to take a little bit of a break, I guess, because um, <clears throat> first of all, number one, well, I guess this doesn't contribute to it, but I thought you, I thought I'd let you guys know I'm sick as hell. Uh, screw allergy season, screw global warming or whatever, because I'm sick as hell. But also, um, work has been kind of really a lot. I don't often get two days off, and when I get one day off, I choose to spend it with people that I love, you know, like my family, my friends, my boyfriend. <clears throat> so I don't get a lot of time to do stuff like this but i did find the time to draw this to be drawing because it's been stuck in my head for a long time and jesus christ did i really want to draw it um so i drew this and i had a lot of fun with it don't worry i'm not going away and like stopping posting like i used to like remember when i was like mia for like a few months <clears throat> i gotta stop clearing my throat um but like I'm actually, I'm actually, you know, still going. I have a lot of videos planned, actually. So, um, two of them have been recorded already. They just need to be edited. Uh, one of them was the collab that I mentioned. Another one is a vlog. I also have a bunch of ideas planned out for new videos. So, don't you worry. I'm not done yet. As much as you'd like to get the fuck over to me. But I'm not leaving. So, um, yeah. I got... I got videos planned and I'm really excited to make them and post them on a weekly basis. Also, I guess now would be a good time because we've already begun it. It'd be a good time to mention the company that me and Punch and Skittles and two other artists are starting up and we plan to go to a convention next year um, that I'm actually not even sure they're having anymore. So I might need to look into that and uh, find some other conventions if not. But um, we are called Sugar Peach Studios, and I will link you to our Instagram and our Facebook and our Tumblr, everything down below. We have some art put up already. Um, one of them is a collaboration between me and one artist, um, Brenda, and then another one is between Punch and Skittles and another artist. Um, <clears throat> also, we did like our about me's and stuff, and that was really fun. So i'll link you guys to that because that's actually really exciting i've always wanted to start an art company with friends but i didn't have enough friends who liked art or had the time but now that we're all fucking degenerates that don't go to college you know well except one of us actually one of us goes to college um so she's elite but like the rest of us don't we have a lot of time on our hands so we decided to make the company also um this drawing with 2B, I tried to go for like a more of an oil sort of painting. So, you know, <clears throat> tell me if you think it sort of looks like that. That's what my friend said it did. Um, but, you know, hopefully that came out right. The nose, okay, so the nose looks absolutely hideous right now, right? I saw a tutorial a long time ago and I actually made a drawing using the tutorial. I'll put it right here but it was the best nose that i've ever drawn in my entire life and in, and i didn't realize how important the nose could be when you were drawing and making a realistic drawing but like i feel like it ups the face a few des decimals whatever i don't even know what rating you would use to use that but like i i feel like drawing a realistic nose can make the other thing more realistic especially if you're not drawing eyes like in this drawing but like I had a good time. Once you learn how to draw certain things, it becomes super fun to draw, even if it did look like a schnoz at the beginning. But like, remember my my Noctis drawing a long time ago? That dude looked like a snail because his nose wasn't drawn right, and it was kind of not good. So I'm glad we've grown from that. Also, what do you guys think of the collaboration videos that um that I do? Like, I do some with uh. I do some with my boyfriend, I've done a couple with uh, Randy in the past, but it's honestly been such a long time since I've done with, with Punch and Skittles that I don't even know if you guys remember that. Because the last time I did a, uh, the last time I did a collaboration with Randy was like two years ago maybe? That was, it was a while. I do have another one planned though, so it's coming out, I just need to edit it. I just need to like actually, you know, do and achieve 
but you know it doesn't happen like that all the time with lazy people i would consider myself a lazy artist yes i would i do have i haven't been drawing as much as i'd like to not digitally i've been sketching a lot though i've been sketching a lot and i post those all on my instagram story because i don't like the aesthetic it kind of gives my uh instagram page itself because i don't know if you guys go on people's instagram pages but you know they're all like aesthetically pleasing they have the same color palette or they have a specific design in mind <clears throat> and so i noticed like i would just post all of my art on the original page and that's good and fine because you know people know you're drawing people know you're active but then it doesn't look pretty and i want it to look pretty i like special pretty things so i just posted all in my story and i don't know if people like it or not but i post my stacks on there one of these days i'm gonna become like a food blogger or something because i love eating and i love taking pictures of my food so i can look at them later and be sad that i can't eat them anymore Ooh, good times like i think i on my actual like personal instagram i posted a picture of ramen and people kept liking it and so i would go and i'd check on the like and then i'd see the bowl of ramen that i took a picture of and i'd get real sad because i just i want the ramen <laughs> I want to eat it, which reminds me, there's a nice ramen place by my house, and I really like it. We, so we just went to visit Punch and Skittles, and I'm going to post that vlog eventually. She's supposed to be coming down sometime for the summer, and I think I want to take her out to get ramen. Would you guys like to see a vlog on that? Because I kind of, I want to vlog her coming over, just like I vlogged going to her house. The train ride to her house was absolutely insane, and you'll see that in the vlog that I post eventually, but, um she she lives in a very green area and so when you pass by it and it's all snowing and stuff oh my god it's so beautiful and kind of scary because it's really foggy and like really cliffy and you know it's it's a little bit terrifying also would you guys like to see me do gameplay on uh near automata i i mean i already played it so i don't even know if that would be any good but like I actually should, I wanted to start doing more gameplay, but the problem is, is that I don't like a lot of games. I, I only really like Nier Automata because it had, first of all, had a great story. Second of all, um, it allowed me to basically not play the game. Like, I, I was just in it for the story because I've told you guys it has the, the auto chips mode where basically you can just, you know, like it, it, it fights for you. That's so lazy, but I really enjoy it because I'm really bad at video games, and every time I played the game, I'd, I'd have to do a boss battle like 10 times before I either completed it or just gave up and used auto chips because I was so bad at it. And it's honestly, I feel like a lot of people wouldn't consider it that hard. Like my boyfriend, he played it, and he didn't, he was on normal mode, and he just beat it in the first try, but like, it took me 3,000 tries. I had to give one of the tries to my brother, and he beat it just because he put it on easy mode. So, uh, you know, I guess I just run in a family of people who are bad at video games and just lack coordination. And that's, a, that's another thing that I kind of figured out with digital drawing is that it takes a lot of coordination in order to do. But like, you know, I figured it out, sort of. And it's actually my preferred medium now. Like, the drawings that I do now and then the other, I think it was the, um, what do they call those? The, uh not collaborations they're not called collaborations the draw this in your style remember that little flower girl that i drew okay well that was done digitally and that is sort of when i realized like oh hey i like digital drawing i prefer drawing digitally because i can make things look pretty and colorful and realistic that i can't do on paper unless i have like copics or paints or something and let me tell you how much i cannot stand paints i i can't stand mixing i can't stand having to test out the colors and then wait for things to dry before you get to do it again that no i hate it and maybe maybe that's like the lazy artist in me sort of speaking but like at the same time it's so tedious having to mix the colors and having to wait until things dry i don't have that kind of patience i don't i don't want to wait for things i just want to color pick i want to paint and then i want to paint more like this if I, if I had done this in a paints, it would have been bad. I would have had to wait for everything to dry. Also, the video is coming close to an end, so thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for waiting for this video and not being mad at me, I guess. And if you are, I'm super, super sorry, but I will post more. Don't you worry. 
and thank you guys for watching if you guys want to see me draw something else or do something else put it down in the comment section below and thank you guys for watching bye love you guys Mwah.